right, everybody, we're back. My next guest tonight's an eight-time Grammy winner and a country music legend. Now he's written his first novel entitled A Tale Out of Luck. Please welcome Willie Nelson. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. An for honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. You've written a novel. This is very cool. That's very novel. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> Bing bang. <laughs> uh, and I love this photo on the back. Check out this photo. This is you in a bar with a horse. Uh, where are you allowed to take a horse into a bar? <laughs> Well, it's my bar, so... Uh, oh, okay, it's my all right. bar, so... Uh, okay. This is, this is actually a bar that you own? Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and uh, so you can do whatever you want? Almost, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. And the horse <laughs> has a drink when he's there? Yeah, That's he nice. can do almost anything he wants. To. Okay, good. Uh, you know, it's so funny, because you walk out here, I tell the crowd that, that you're on the show, they go crazy, you come walking out, you are an iconic presence uh, in, in, in America. You are one of the most... It's true, this guy, one of the most famous faces in American music. Can you go anywhere and not be recognized? Oh, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, you, like, you like being recognized. Oh, yeah, if they don't recognize me, I say, hey, man, don't you realize who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Snap out of yeah, it. Really? Willie Nelson, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you've been doing this a long time. You started writing songs when you were a kid. Is that right? How, how, how old were you when you started writing? I started writing poems when I was about five years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I learned to play guitar a little bit when I was about six years old. So I started writing melodies to the poems. And uh, next thing you know, I had some bad songs. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone's got to start somewhere. I'm just curious, what kind of songs are you writing, you know, when you're five, six years old? What kind of life experience are you drawing on for your songs? You know, years later, I, I first realized how uh, there must be reincarnation. There must be other lifetimes before you, because I was writing about things that I had no idea what I could have been talking about. Mm -hmm. Divorces and heartbreak at, at seven <laughs> years old. I mean, yeah. That's really? Sad. You, were, you were writing sort of like, she done me wrong. Yeah, at seven. She yeah. left me for another man when you were six, seven years old. With, with my children. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, wow. And so were you, were you writing about anything that was really happening in your life at that time? You know, a really good peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Uh... Well, you know, uh, I wrote a song called Gold Star, mm -hmm. which uh, came from a music lesson. My grandmother gave music lessons, and every time one of her students would do well, she would take a little gold star and lick it and put it on that piece of paper. So I wrote a song when, when I was seven years old called Gold Star. You took a gold star away from me, dear, when you left me for another long ago. That's right, but it works. It's, it's very, well, it's sad, it's very sweet, but you were taking something from your life and that's and really all it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I wanna talk about something, there's so much to talk about in your life. There's one thing that you wrote about a number of years ago uh, that happened in the 1970s, and I still can't believe it really happened, so I have to ask you. Mm -hmm. You wrote that when Jimmy Carter was president, you visited the White House, you snuck up onto the roof of the White House and smoked a joint. Is that, is that... Is that something that... I hope that happened. You hope that I happened? I really hope I did that. <laughs> That short-term stuff. Kind of, <laughs> so you have no have idea no, if that happened. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to know how you got up there, what it was Our like. And all that good stuff. Yeah. I, I bowled while I was in the White House. Did you know they have a bowling alley? They do the have White a bowling House? alley. Yeah. Uh-huh. Were you high at the time or no? That was a... <laughs> was that a day that ended in high? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, now that we're on the subject, and I think I got us there, uh, you are a strong advocate for the legalization of, of marijuana. Is you believe that? in that? Yeah. Why... Uh, Have you ever thought of taking it up as an official cause, be the spokesman for this cause? Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Well, I, you know, I'm a member of Normal. You know, I'm on the board right, there, so right. I'm pretty much out front on everything. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I have a card in Maui that you know lets me grow seven plants if I want to. Really? So, and there's several states that have that same kind of law. Uh, so, yeah, I'm out front on it. I think it's... Uh, uh, it's ridiculous to put people in jail for smoking pot. Right. When, you know, you 
They're smoking cigarettes, drinking whiskey, everything else that'll kill you, and yes, you can't smoke pot. I, I don't think that's right. Okay. Well, I think they're, they're behind you on this one. I'm told you, you love a good joke, and in fact, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, Johnny Cash, whenever he saw you, always wanted to hear a joke from you. Do you, ha do you have a joke? That yeah, you, when the John was down, he always called me. From... Oh, yeah, I got a, a guy went to the doctor, and uh, the doctor looked at him and said, well, I got horrible news for you. You're not going to make it. You're going to die. And the guy said, well, that's pretty cold-blooded. Ain't there something I can do? He said, yeah, you might think about taking three or four mud baths every day. He said, will that help me? He said, well, it'll get you used to the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. That's... <laughs> Man, that's tough. That's cold. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cold. cold. That is very cold. Uh, you just, is this right? You just turned 75 years old? 75 yeah. years young. In, in April, yeah. Very good. Uh, what, what kind of did you have? That's a nice round number. Did you have a, uh, a party? Did you do anything? I celebrated my birthday in Amsterdam. <laughs> I just happened Willie, to I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> no, I was touring, and I uh, always start my tours in Amsterdam when we go to, you know, to tour in you Europe. You like to begin in Amsterdam. Like start there. I'm surprised there's a tour after that. Well, we do stop back in Amsterdam. You go there. The way back. There's a lot of napping. <laughs> What, uh, so you just like it there, it's a nice town. It's Do a they, nice town. And they, they must, you know, they, they, they love you over there. They, they must just love we, your music. We have a lot of fans over there. We play a lot of shows in Amsterdam. Last time I was there, Snoop Dogg was there. And, uh... <laughs> I'm guessing you two bump into each other a lot. <laughs> oh, Snoop! <Yeah>. Willie! <laughs> How are you? Um... Uh, a Tale Out of Luck. This is a, a novel that you've written. What inspired you to, to write a novel? Well, let me, sh let me show you this. Mm -hmm. This, it says me here, and it says Mike Blakely in really small letters. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, he should have the big letters, and mine should be smaller. Mm -hmm. He and I got together, and we talked about a town that I own, Bill, called Luck, Texas, and we talked about a story of what could have happened. And Mike went away and wrote the book, and so I'm getting a lot of credit for his work, so thank you, Mike. That was nice to know. Nice of you to... Well, good luck with this. Do you like it? Are you proud of the way it turned yeah, out? Yeah, I really do like the way that Mike writes. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, have you read it? <laughs> I have read it. I hear it's good. I know, I have read it's it. It's about a talking whale. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make a movie out of it. So, oh, great. Yeah, he's already written a screenplay. So. <laughs> All right, well, just work me in there somewhere. You got it. You Rangy, red-haired cowboy comes to town. You got it. The red-headed stranger. Yeah, red-headed stranger. Very nice. Got kind of an annoying voice. Uh, <laughs> I alienate everyone. Uh, a Tale Out of Luck uh, is in stores now. You should check it out. A uh, real honor to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. A real pleasure. <laughs> Willie Nelson, we'll be right back. Southside Johnny with LaBombe's Big Band. You better not screw this up. Thank you.